when you say the universe emerged from nothing, what does that mean? How can we even think of it? What does nothing mean in this context? Well, well, um, I mean, there's lots of you. Know, I wrote a whole book about it, right? But yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I think the key point is the most important version is that if space and time are quantum mechanical, if there, if gravity is a quantum mechanical theory, then space and time are quantum objects, and mm -hmm. quantum objects fluctuate. And so you can imagine literally a closed universe that did not exist, that suddenly pops into existence. That space wasn't there. It wasn't there. And suddenly it's there. And then, of course, most of such spaces will collapse instantaneously and disappear. But every now and then, one such space could pop into existence by the laws of quantum mechanics. So space and time could suddenly arise, a closed universe. It could expand exponentially fast by something called inflation. And it could end up looking like our universe. And, and if you want to ask what would a universe look like that went through such a procedure, it would look I identical to the universe in which we live. That doesn't prove that's the case, but it makes it plausible. So when I, when I talk about nothing in there, I mean no space, no time, no particles, no radiation. Nothing that is part of our universe now existed but until it came into existence. Now, whether there's something else in existence, something brand, grander and broader, and whether there's a, there's a multiversal time where you can label when our universe came to existence, all of that is speculation and kind of irrelevant for understanding our universe. Okay, let me... And I know it's hard to con conceive of these things. Believe me, I understand that. How much of our current world is dependent on the origins? Can, you, can we treat the world that we live in today as part of a Markov chain in the sense that how I got here today is independent of any historical states? Or do you think the fact that the universe emerged from nothing has some form of a profound implication on how I view the world today and would change my perspective and the science? I think, I, well, yes, in a, in a general sense, we, we, you know, how we got here changes our perspective of, of, of ourselves and our place in the universe. It's not gonna yeah. make a better toaster or a faster car. <laughs> but it it uh i think it well what it does do is realize is point out something that i think is highly non-intuitive and one of the reasons we have religions is that we live in this universe as i said that has hundreds of billions of stars and in and 100 billion stars in our galaxy alone and 100 billion galaxies or more in the universe in order to it it certainly feels like in order for all that to come about something had to create it there had to be something there. And what is remarkable is that it all it's, can be the ultimate free lunch. It all can come from nothing. And, and you don't need any supernatural creator and I, uh, or, or any, anything beyond our universe for that to happen in principle. And that's a remarkable result and a remarkably freeing result because, because requiring something to create our universe, then just it just throws the questions back. You know, what, who, create, what, who created the creator? And... And what did that? I mean, it, it doesn't answer anything. And so uh, I think it, cha it, it, cha it changes our perspective of meaning and, and purpose because if the universe spontaneously arose, there's a quantum fluctuation, there is no meaning or purpose to the universe. And that's okay. We make our own meaning and purpose. Some people may find that disappointing, but the universe doesn't exist, so you can be happy.